Hello there, YouTube family. It's time for our midweek devotion. It is August the 2nd. Uh, we're going to be looking at several passages of Scripture this morning, and uh, our topic today is on our tongue. Uh, and the tongue, we know, is the sharpest instrument that is a part of our body. Uh, the tongue has a lot of destruction and deception in it and we have to control our tongue as much as we possibly can and the bible has much to say about our tongue and our words and thoughts that come out of our mouths um through our lives so uh we're gonna be looking like i said at several passages of scripture this morning we're gonna start out in proverbs proverbs chapter 18 Verses 20 and 21, it says, From the fruit of their mouth, a person's stomach is filled. With the harvest of their lips, they are satisfied. The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. So the tongue, of course, we take in our food, okay, and we taste with our tongue, and we have those senses there that tell us that something either tastes good or it tastes bad uh, as it goes into our mouth, and, and we get that sensation there, and, and all those things that go along with our taste buds and all that stuff, but of course, uh, as verse 21 says there, it has the power of life and death in it, and it does. We can either speak good things that give life to others and give life to ourselves, or we can speak bad things about other people and bring death to those relationships that are there within uh, among those two people. So it, the tongue does hold that life and death aspect within it. No, it can't kill anybody in the physical sense of killing them, but uh, it can kill them emotionally uh, because of the things that we say to them, a hurtful word that we may say about uh, how they look or uh, something that they may say to us or uh, just bringing up some aspect. And we see it so many times in this world today. People love to throw um, words out there that hurt other people. I mean, they really do, uh, and we see it even more now than we ever have because of social media, because it's so easy for people to hide behind that cell phone, uh, so easy to hide behind that computer screen when they're on Facebook or other avenues of social media, uh, and they can throw out those jabs, they can, they can send those jabs, and they don't have to have that face-to-face -face confrontation with someone else, and therefore they kill people uh, with their words through their typing and their thoughts, uh, and again, they don't have to have that face-to-face -face confrontation that may bring about uh, that physical confrontation in a lot of aspects, so you still see a lot of that stuff, and then that's the bad part about it, because a lot of people especially in today's world, will turn to even more than physical violence. They'll turn to other types of violence, which is not a good thing. So, uh, But it all starts with that sharp instrument in our mouth, and that is our tongue. That's where it all begins. Uh, and, of course, we think those things in our head, and before we know it, those things are coming out of our mouths and, and our tongue is speaking those words that we have just thought and came up with and we didn't think before we said or we didn't think before we acted and boom, something has come out and we have uh, spoken death into someone else or about someone else because of the things that we have said. So, then we're going to turn over to Another portion of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 4, and it says, The soothing tongue is a tree of life, but a perverse tongue tr crushes the spirit. And again, just like in chapter 18, you know, that tongue, the soothing tongue, soothes other people. You know, saying something, a, a youth at, at school, says something about another child about, hey, your 
clothing looks great today or your hair looks great what did you do with it or someone in the grocery line says oh i love that about you or starts up a conversation with them uh, and tells them to have a good day or somebody praying with somebody else you know that soothing tongue bringing that life to another person but again a perverse tongue crushing the spirit when we say those things that hurt someone else or cause hurtful feelings or something towards another person. And we do it so many times. And we do it a lot of times without even thinking really and truthfully. We'll say something. To, oh, golly, I shouldn't have said that. And we do it so many times. But we have to watch our tongue. And, I, and I'm looking at one more. We go back a couple of verses to chapter in the same chapter 15 and verse 2, the tongue of the wise adorns knowledge, but the mouth of a fool gushes folly. There again, I mean, we use our tongue in the right way. It produces knowledge. It produces good things. It produces good words towards other people. But we use our mouths and our thoughts and our tongues in the wrong way, and boom, we start arguments. We start fights. We start those things that we should not be doing against other folks and so we have to be careful with that and then we turn over to ephesians chapter 4 verse 29 do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs that it may benefit those who listen again don't let anything come out of our mouths that's going to tear somebody down that's going to rip somebody apart it's going to hurt things there's so many families and, and that's where you'd see it so often and so much that families get torn apart because somebody says a forgetful word somebody says a excuse me not a forgetful word a hurtful word or a hurtful phrase or they do something that they don't ask for forgiveness for and we see families torn, torn apart so many times because of those words, because of those things that are said. Um, and if you don't have family and friends, what do you have? You better hope that you've got God on your side. In that case, when all your family, your friends leave you, because you better have God. Because otherwise you don't have anybody. So we've got to be careful. We've got to guard our tongues. We've got to guard our thoughts. Because again, many times when we think something, boom, it's coming out. And we've got to protect ourselves from that. We've got to protect our tongues from saying things that are going to hurt others. And if we do happen to hurt someone else, we've got to have the responsibility. We've got to be the big enough person to go to them and say, I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? Can we move past this? And many times it don't happen. Again, we go back to those, those family relationships and we don't move past those hurtful things that are said. And we don't offer that forgiveness. We don't get that forgiveness. Sometimes it does happen that we're able to move on without that forgiveness. But many times those relationships get broken. And they stay broken for years and years. So we've got to be careful. We've got to guard our tongues. We've got to protect uh, our mouths from saying those things that we do not need to say. And if we think it, push it on out of the brain, throughout the ears, and not out the tongue. So that we don't hurt those relationships and hurt those people that are around us. Let's pray. Father God, we just ask right now for your forgiveness. Father, that you forgive us for those things that we've said, those things that we have thought and that have came out of our mouths that are hurting others that are around us. Maybe a family member, maybe a friend, maybe a co-worker, God. And Father, I just pray right now for that forgiveness for those things that we have said against someone else. Father, just bless us this day. Just help us to guard our tongues that we might not talk bad or speak bad about others or other things around us. Lead us, Father, this day. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, I hope every each and every one of you have a wonderful day. God bless you. We'll see you in the next one.